All right, let's do Led Zeppelin's When the Levee Breaks on three string cigar box guitar. <laughs> How's it going? My name is Shane Spiel, and I am going to teach you how to play when the levee breaks on your three-string cigar box guitar. This is nothing but a three-string slide guitar, and if I talk into it, you can hear it coming out of my amp. <laughs> uh, this is the guitar that I built in my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. Making Poor Man's Guitars is going to show you how to build this guitar and a whole bunch of other cool things. Plus, it's going to get into the history and uh, even checking out weird and uh, unusual homemade instruments in my guitarchaeology sections. So, Making Poor Man's Guitars. You can get it in bookstores. You can get it at stubbyslide.com. You can get it with my buddy cbgiddy.com. Three strings. When the levee breaks is in the key of F. The Jimmy Page's tuning is... An open G tuning on a six string guitar. Uh, yeah, an open G tuning where the low string was tuned down to a D. Okay, if I got this right. And then they slowed the tape down so that it was in the key of F. So it was originally recorded in the key of G, it was slowed down to the key of F. Well, we've got a three-string cigar box guitar, and we're going to compensate by taking our three strings, usually tuned to open G, G, D, G, and we're going to tune this one step down to open F. So here's how you tune your open G cigar box guitar to open F. The first string, G, take it one step down to F. Take that D down to C. Take that high G down to F. So the tuning is F, C, F. Let me do a little fine tuning here as the neck moves around with the strings changing. Now my guitar is, is plugged into an amp and I've added a little bit of reverb and delay just to get that grungy sound of uh, Led Zeppelin. If I turn the volume off, it'll just sound like this. However, it's cooler if you do this. All right, let's break this down. There's three main riffs in this song. The first riff is the grinding chug. Before I get into which frets you hit, um, I want to talk about the rhythm. It's You've got to get that rhythm down. Uh, you can't just sit here and, and try to mechanically go. Because it just doesn't sound right. Start with your picking hand and just mute your strings and go like this. And let me take off the amp so you don't hear the delay on there. And it just goes like this. It's that boom, ba da boom, ba da boom. And you got to get that upstroke in there. Bunk uh, to upstroke, down, down, up, down. And that's the biggest challenge of this song, is getting that rhythm. 
Everything else is really easy. So go over that section if you need to get the rhythm going, just rewind this video and watch it over and, and get that rhythm down. The second is where the slide goes. Now, I forgot to mention, this is my brand new slide. It's called the Gunslinger, and it's at stubbyslide.com, and these are actual rifle barrels. Uh, a friend of mine is a gunsmith. In fact, he's a fan of the band, and he showed up at one of my gigs with one of these and said, Shane, I want you to try this out. This was from a rifle barrel. It was an, a cutoff piece that he had. He goes, try that in concert. I tried it. It was amazing. The thing's nice and heavy, and it's two inches long. It's a little longer than a stubby. However, these medium-sized slides are awesome for big sloppy blues where you're not trying to be so precise. <laughs> And you just want to just bang on the guitar. So this is the Gunslinger slide, stubbyslide.com. Okay, so we've got the rhythm hand going. Well, this chug is only on open three and five frets. Remember, when you're putting the slide on the fret, the slide goes above the fret, not in the middle. It goes on top of the fret marker because that's where the proper intonation is. So it's three open, three open, three open, five, three open, three open, three open, five, three open, three open, three open, five. even slower. There's your first riff. The second riff is this bridge. And all that is, is going up to the 8th fret, to the 10th fret. And then the second part of that is this. This is a little bit tricky. That's 5-3, five, 5 open. 5-3, five, 5 open. you to notice something when I'm playing this part my picking hand is doing down up down up down up down up the reason it's doing that and not the downstrokes is if I did it all in downstrokes it would sound like this it's a little mechanical, but if you can get used to the upstrokes, you can get this. So it's five, three, five open, five, three, five open. All together, it's eight, 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 ten, ten, five, three, five open, five, three, five open. Okay, the last riff you need for this song is that cool. And this is just, I love cranking this in concert when we play this song. It's 12, 12, 12, 7, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5, 10, 10, 12. Now, if you want to add Jimmy Page's flourish to it, after the first time you play, you play.
And that's just triangles. I've taught triangles before in some of my other lessons. It is at the same fret positions, but he's going on the high string, 12, 10, and in the middle string, 12. So it makes this nice little triangle. It goes. And then go to seven. Go to five. And then strum 10, 10, 12. The other thing is remember to get that little vibrato going on the last note of the triangle get that because that's what it slides all about just getting that and that's it that's the three riffs you need for when the levy breaks. The first riff. Second riff. Third riff. There you go, When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin. Hey, I wanted to remind you that these videos are brought to you by Stubby Slide, stubbyslide.com, where you can find the Gunslinger Slide. You can find my crazy cigar box guitar shirts like Fat Zeppelin here, and uh, the Rat Fink Hot Rod shirt I'm wearing right now. So many things over there, so check it out, stubbyslide.com. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Shane Spiel. <laughs> And I'm going to keep the Led Zeppelin going for you. We're going to do more lessons. Shane Spiel. My videos are brought to you by StubbySlide.com, home of the most unique, inspiring, and unusual guitar slides made by artisans. I really feel each slide can be a spark of inspiration for your music. StubbySlide.com also has my hilarious cigar box guitar shirts, autographed copies of my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars, and handmade instruments from my own personal shop. StubbySlide.com, because getting cool slides and stuff is better than just throwing money in a Patreon. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.